In this video, I'll show you how to put content onto your templates and essentially turn this into a playlist. So start by going here to the left, clicking program, and then clicking playlist. After this is loaded, I'm just going to select add, uh, user templates, and I'm going to select the template I just created. So I'm going to select this one in this case, and then press OK. You can now see the different parts of the template that are created. So we're just basically just going to fill these areas up with content, videos, website, for example, and go from there. So to add content to these zones, we're going to start by going over to here and we're going to double click on the video zone with the left mouse button. So this will bring up the file menu where we can actually see the files that were uploaded earlier. So all these are your different content. So because this is a video zone, we can actually add images and videos and we can ha actually have more than one at a time so that we can sort of loop through the videos um, and we can set that up uh, in a second. So first we'll go to video and I'm just going to select this here as an example. Um, and remember, we can also upload straight from here. So we can select our files from our PC and upload them straight to here. But in this case, I'm going to select this and then press OK. And you'll see a thumbnail of the video that I've just selected. So in the bottom right here, we can actually see a media editing uh, area. So basically, this is where we can sort of set the functions uh, for, the, for the different things that we want in this video zone. So if I want, I can actually add uh, let's say I want to add another image, so I'm going to press add media here and then let's select this one for example, press OK and now I can actually change the duration that I want this image to display here I can also change different transition effects um, and basically when this image finishes their duration, so of 10 seconds it will go back to the video, the video will play, go back to the image after that's finished and then so on and so forth so you could basically just add as many as much content as you like to here and it will just go through them all in the durations that you've set and obviously how long the video lasts for for example uh, the same way we add the video content we're going to actually add uh, image to the image zone so the same way as before just double left click select which we want so in this case if I just select uh, this here from my backgrounds folder I can add that there and I'm just going to do it for the rest as well. So it's as quick and easy as this. So I'm just going to go through these quickly. Select this one. And then finally, I'm just going to select this one here. And now all these are here. All these are here. You can see the thumbnail of each different image. So now we've put content into these zones. We're going to do, do the web page zone as well. So if I just left click here, we can either add media, or in this case, a web page uh, through this section, like we did with the video. We could also double click on it and type in the URL from here. So essentially just copy and paste your website URL, uh, maybe if it's your company, for example, and that will display here. And then make sure to set the duration to whichever you wish. So if you wanted to display indefinitely, just set this to 23 hours or 24 hours. Um, and then we just press OK when that's done. So now I'm going to add an image to the mask zone, which is essentially just a transparent zone, which uh, is like the logo but you can have as many as you like and obviously it can be used to like create borders and stuff for your images um, but in this case we're just going to double left click add this image here and as you can see it's a uh, .png format so this allows transparency so I'm just going to press OK and then you can see how this is transparent with the background so I can actually move it up and you can see it goes over the top um, and ideally like I mentioned you could put borders here just to separate the images and videos and other creative things you can think of. So finally, I'm just going to go over to the scrolling text area. I can left click here. I can either type in uh, what I wanted to display, or I can also double left click it and actually put in an RSS feed. So in this case, I create this one earlier. I can just simply select it, press OK like before, and then that will display here. And if you want to see how this looks, we can just go over to the top here, press preview here, and then we can see how this looks on, or how this would look on our screen. So you can see the scrolling text across the bottom here and the video should do a transition now. Um, and obviously the transparent logos and images over the top, for example, in the background here. So I'm just going to close this. After you're happy with all this, we're just going to simply click save here and then we'll begin to.